he doesn't get a lot of reps for for um, for Los Angeles this last year. He had he played the majority of the game in week one, but other than that, uh, he was really limited to you know under twenty five snaps for pretty much all but four or five games of the season. Right. So, He's a base defense see. player. Like he plays when there's two tight ends, two wide receivers on the field, basically, right? Yeah, he's a he's a, yeah he's their base guy, or or when they're in heavy sets too. So right now, okay. like in this, this this first down play against Seattle, you see him lined up. He's actually uh, spread out wide against the receiver right there on the top of the screen. Yes, he's in space the way Fred Warner was in college at BYU out there in the slot. Yes. Yep. So you can't even see him out here. He's again, he's over here. Yeah, he, you see him hanging out at the top of there. So he's not a base D end. He's not a base inside. He's really an outside linebacker. Yeah, he's an outside linebacker. So like with the 49ers, he's he's a fit. He'd be a Sam. Yes. Uh, in, the, in the 49ers, which would be So the he's going to like take over. Like Dre Greenlaw was the Sam. Now Greenlaw is the Will. He'll be the new Sam. And the question is, what can he offer in the nickel defense? Because he didn't play much of that in L.A. No, you'll see. We'll see. A, we'll see a few reps of that in the um, more in the second game. You'll see where they put him in there a little bit against the Arizona. Okay. Good, because if he honestly, if you don't put him in there against Arizona, he doesn't play at all. That was one of the questions I had. Like, how does he get on the field against Arizona? Um, yeah. Because they're a eleven personnel, uh, ten personnel team all the way. Okay, next play. Yeah. So, so he's a, like like we mentioned, he's a he's a first and second down guy for the most part. So the next one's right. The next play, thirteen oh five. Okay, easy enough. And that's one of the things that I noticed too when I'm when I was looking at these last two games is all, all the, almost all of his reps are on first and second down. There's only a couple of times when he's out there on third. Got it. And so here he is right here. He's basically like playing outside line linebacker in a three four. Like if you remember the Vic Fangio defense, he's what uh, Paris Harrelson, Ahmad Brooks here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's that's he's kind of like that Paris Harrelson player because yes. they're not really using him as a as, as a rusher a lot of times. Um, right out of any, like in, in their nickel formations or anything like that. It's, it's his pass rushing for the most part is coming out of their base. Right. So they, they, they trust him as a base defender to execute his assignments and, and stop the run more than they trust whoever their edge rusher is. I forget the guy's name off the top of my head. This guy's name anyway. Well, there's Leonard Floyd and then Leonard uh, Floyd. Yeah. And then they got Leonard a couple Floyd. other guys that they rotate him at with so, as well. So they trust this guy against the run more than Floyd, but when it's time to rush the passer, it's Floyd time. Most of the time. That's what you see. Yes. And then, in the last game, I think we'll see a little bit where they're actually paired together at the same time. Well, let's see him set the edge here. He ta- he engages uh, an offensive tackle, um, knocks him back. That's I mean, gives a good effort. The kind of guy coaches like. Yeah, he's he's definitely uh, able to to set the edge uh, well. Yeah, uh, and he, you know he's one of those. He can does a whole lot of different things well. So and we kind of see that here as we go through. Big part of his value is special teams. Yes. Yep. He gets. Right. He plays about as many reps on special teams as he does on the defense. The that's players. right. Okay. So what's next? Let's Not jump third to, now. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. That's it for the first quarter. Actually, jump to. Okay. Uh, it's nine nine thirty three of the second quarter. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So he's really had some time to think about it and get his catch his breath. Here he goes. Like three hours later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, it is. Man. It's 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 uh they're they're not they don't really not run them a whole lot. So here he's he down here, here at the bottom. Okay. So he's the he's left the outside bottom. linebacker. Got it. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That's how how Fangio would do it. He'd have a guy play aside on the Niners. They kind of flip around a little more. Yeah. Okay. Here he's playing the run. Squeezes down. Tries to set the edge. Gets washed inside. Gives up the edge. And now you got a nice little run. Why is Chris Carson not? That's, he should have just cut that one back upfield. But what do you th- what do you see here? He's just got to do. He's got to do. He gets into him a little bit too far. He gets he squeezes down a little bit too much with yeah. this guy because he doesn't. I don't think he sees. I don't think he sees the guy coming around to block him. So he gets. Yeah. He's able to get hooked. Instead, he's got to be able to meet him with his right with his right arm. Yeah. So good effort, but poor execution on that play by Ebicom. Yeah, he gets he kind of gets his shoulders turned a little bit. He doesn't really keep himself squared at the line of scrimmage as he's squeezing the play. He's more chasing it, and that's where he's getting caught. He floats inside too much. No question. Mm-hmm. He doesn't see this guy coming, gets sealed out. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, as an edge setter, like 
uh, you know, Ahmad Brooks was 6'5", 270. This guy's 6'1", 245. He's much more built like Dakota Watson. He's small and fast, very fast. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's on the smaller side for sure. Yeah. But that's why right. that's why you see him with being able to do some of the other things that he does is because of that size. So he can cover. I would imagine. Yes, he can. He does. Yes. He does. He plays well in space and coverage as well. Yeah. Okay. Which is something you really wouldn't want Ahmad Brooks or even Paris Harrelson to do. They could cover like a zone in the flat, but that's about it. Okay. Yeah. Next play. Let's jump to the next one. Eight fifty four. Okay. Left side. Oh, in a stand-up rushing position, it looks like looks like it's going to be a pass. Second down. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's going to get a pass rush here. Oh, nice. Off the edge. Let's see what this looks like. And look at look at what side he's on. He's on. He, he would be opposite Nick Bosa. Same side that D Ford usually rushes from. Okay, they got the yeah. the running back on his side, so he waits to see. Oh, nice hand usage. Let's see if from okay. He almost gets there. Yeah, he almost gets it. The only thing that I, the only thing I don't like about the rep is that he, he, when you watch him, he gets, he gets to a point and it almost like it's almost like he stops. Yeah, let's watch it again. We don't really need to see what happens with this throw. Okay. And some of it could be because they're going against Wilson, so he's trying to he's trying not to overrush him. Okay, so he's got get those hands right up there. It's pretty violent. Gets around him, and then it's right at that point where he starts yeah. to slow down. Yeah. It seems like he's more trying to just get his hands up than really hit the guy. But that's a decent rep. It's a pretty good rep. Yeah. Athletic guy, long arms, violent hands. Um, not D Ford. Let's just be clear. He ain't D Ford. But he's going to give good effort. Did I lose you? Oh, I lost him. Let's see if Let's see if Jack can come back. Uh oh. Jack, Jack, Jack. He'll come back. All right. So now it's just me for now. I mean, people say he's going to be the next Shaq Barrett, the next D Ford. I don't know if he has like the actual technique to be that kind of a, a, a pass rusher. Like, does he have actual moves? He's strong. He's fast. He gives good effort. He's got violent hands, but. He's a little clumsy here. I mean, he almost falls over. He doesn't quite. This is good, probably going to be one of his better pass rush reps. It's a good one. And I guess if this is your fourth best pass rush, that's a good thing. Uh, if you got Armstead and Kinlaw is better, although I'm not sure Kinlaw is better. Bosa's on the field. Ideally, the Niners are going to have D Ford back, and this guy's not going to be rushing the quarterback very much. He's basically in a platoon with D Ford. Because D Ford isn't an outside linebacker. He's not going to play in the base defense. So you have this guy out there instead. Uh, and he'll give you good effort. He's he's solid. He's like he's not he's not he's not a perfect football player. He's not going to give you everything, which is why he's cheaper. All right, let's move on. Let's see what the next play is with him. Second quarter. All right, that's going to be about it for him. Let's see about this one. Jack, you back yet? Man, I don't know if Jack's coming back. We'll see. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Jack. Hey, sorry about that. It's okay. It happens. So I jumped ahead to like 330 something in the second quarter. Is that right? Uh, Is that him right there? I don't think so. I think his next rep doesn't come until the third quarter. Oh, wow. You're right. 54. Yeah. Okay, good call. Yeah. 54 and 50, 54 is Floyd. He's, he's the guy that's playing majority of the time. Got it. Okay. Okay, third quarter. Where are we at? Let's 14, go to 14. Uh, 315 of the... Of the the third. Oh, wow. He really doesn't play much, does he? No, he really doesn't over the wow. this, this year. No. Wow. Okay. So deep in the game, this is his third series of the game. 
So this is where I was saying, you know, you see them, you see them line up a lot in their base, and this is a kind of like their heavy set. They've got four down oh. linemen. Okay. Floyd on one side, and, and he's on the other, so he's over to the right side now. Okay, good to know that he plays on both sides because he's going to have to do that in the Niners. Yep, yep, he can play both sides, and, and this is going to be a pass here as well. Oh, Maybe good. Drop the coverage. Oh, nice, nice. Because of course Floyd's going to rush. All right, hurry up, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he's in coverage on the tight end. He looks like he actually can do some main coverage. Yeah, he's 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 got really good feet, so he can definitely he can definitely play that. So I, I, he might even be more skilled as in coverage than he is. I mean, this isn't than he is as a pass rush. It'll be interesting to compare. What's he better at? I think he's you know you don't really see it when we're watching. Let's watch him in his pass rushes. He doesn't show a whole lot of different moves, he, but right. he's. His, his quickness is what gives him a, the advantage over the, the tackles. Motor, quickness, athleticism, yes. Yeah. That's, okay. it, doesn't, so, it doesn't hurt that he's got, I think it's Brockers and... and uh, yeah, uh, Donald, Donald, Floyd. Kind of yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, what's the next three, one? Uh, the next one, 312. So the, the, this right. whole series, these three plays in a row here. Oh, he's, he gets to be on, on third and third down too, huh? Okay. Yeah, because they've got him backed up here. Good point. Okay. He's at the top of the screen again. Okay. And coverage again. Now he's on a running back. Nice. Good athlete. They, they must be confident in him to put him on, on – to give him those assignments. Yes. Yep. Definitely. He's he, he, You can see him do a whole lot of different things. So, he's you know, he's a guy that's got like, – we've already seen him be able to set the edge. That's yep. kind of what his main job will be with the Niners, and he, you've seen him be able to do that. We're able to see him now with in, in playing in space. Yeah, we saw it in the first couple of plays too, but this is they weren't really. He was just there was nothing really happening a whole lot there on that first play, but now we see yeah. him lined up at, and covering a couple of times. So that's really good. Okay, so here he is, third down. Yep, and and so we've a couple of coverage, and now third down, he's going to rush. Okay, beautiful. Going against the left tackle that he's going to be facing in the future. He just gets chipped and falls down. Yeah, he gets and he gets Aaron caught. Him. Yeah, you just see him get caught right there with with the. Uh, looks like he catches a knee to the, th to the thigh, kind of just trips him up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, not the most coordinated pass rusher, but a very good athlete, and he's coordinated in coverage. Anyway, we didn't get to see much on that. He just fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I that was just, good. Though. That's just a tough. Yeah, I think it's just a tough one because he's got the extra guys out there and, and too much traffic for him to really get into a pass rush. Yeah. Okay. Well, he occupied the guy enough to let Donald have a one-on-one, -on -one and boom, sack. Okay. So next play. Jump to the fourth quarter at 647. My goodness. All right, 647. Okay. Top of screen, standing up. I think he. Let's see. No, that's that's Floyd. I, I don't think that's him. I think that's Floyd. Okay, so are we on the wrong wrong play, or is he in this one? No, nope, he's not in this one. Let's jump to the okay. next one. Okay. Here he is. He's right here. So you see him, yeah. Again, so he's he's out wide playing. This is definitely a linebacker position. So you know, yeah. Motion him down. He steps down. Let's see where he goes. He's reading the run. It's play action. How how quickly does he react? He's got the flat. He's in good good position. Yeah, I can see he's a guy that a coordinator would trust in his base defense. Yeah, going to do the I right thing. He, mm -hmm. That's you can see why a guy like like why Robert Saul would like this guy because he does a whole yeah. lot of different things well. He does a whole lot of different things well. He does his job. He knows what to do. He gives good effort. He's a coach's dream. I mean, he's not he's not a superstar, but he's a very important chess piece. Yes, 
Yeah. Yes. Because that's that. That's what the the nice part about with him with his athleticism is he just provides a lot of flexibility. Yeah. You know, you don't okay. you're not having to be stuck in your base defense with him. He can keep him out there and roll. Yeah. Okay. Is he on this play here? Uh, yes. Five twenty-five. Okay. I think it's the next right. play. Yes, here he is. Yes. Let's see what they do. He's going to be going into coverage again. Okay. So he's got another tight end. He's got eyes on the on the play. It's kind of an RPO. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not much there. Let's go to the next play. Let's jump to uh, 346 now of the fourth. Okay. Here we go. Right here. I believe. Am yeah. I wrong? Uh, no, I think that's him. Nope. He's over right here right. this time. I don't yeah. know who 58 is. Okay, top of the screen. And this is going to be a run. He does a good job of squeezing. He's in yes. a good position. You know, he sees the ball's not going to come his way, so he's able to, to get off of that block and start to chase it. But he does a good job on the squeeze, though, of, of keeping that outside that outside arm to where it's free, yep. which I like. That's that's really what you want for that guy. So absolutely, and he's got a he's got a wide receiver on him, and he, he throws him around a little bit, which is nice to see. Yeah, he's able to manage that, and I yeah. think he'd be fine against a tight end as well. But he's got, yeah. he's got a, just as long as he doesn't squeeze down like that last time where we saw him turn his shoulders so much. That time he's able to keep himself a little more square to the line and really just use his his uh, his on you know the right his right shoulder to keep himself in the play. Certainly, squeeze it. Yep, great technique. Yeah. All right, which is the next play? That was three forty six. Jump to uh, there uh, one fifty one. There's two more plays in this game. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be the next, next two. Points. So it's twenty to nine. So this is they're they're in the base right here. Right. I think you, you're looking at Seattle pretty much trying to run the clock out. Of course. Who's up up at the top of the screen again? Okay. Right, oh, right over the tight end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's going to get across the tight end's face. That's terrific. They're holding hands a little bit. That was interesting. Now it gets, yeah, yeah. They're just a good job squeezing, and then yeah. turning, and get, then turning and getting upfield and taking a good angle. So this that's yeah. what, and then the next play is going to be very similar because they're going to run the ball again. What do you really see? Okay. This is what you what what I see uh, when I'm watching him in this game is he's a Sam that yeah. uh, that his pass rushing reps are all coming out of the base defense. Yep, at least in this game. Yep, absolutely. 